हेलो एवरीवन आई एम भाग्यश्री लामतुरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड डेटा साइंस फ्रॉम ए आई एस एन एस आई आई टी पुणे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी इंट्रोडक्शन टू अल्गोरिदम As we uh, seen in the previous video, what is the data structure, data information, knowledge, and uh, how that related with the data structure, data type. So, in the fundamentals of data structure, the next part is algorithm. So, in this video, we will see introduction to algorithm. So, what's the algorithm? Algo uh, we have discussed in the previous uh, video. Algorithm is nothing but the step by step execution or step by step the procedure for ex uh, execution of any program. We can say yes. So now here we will see the definition and characteristics for algorithm. So what are the characteristics for that? Input, output, finiteness, definiteness, and effectiveness. What's the input? Input is nothing but the input data. Supplied externally, zero or more. Next output. That depend on which type of input and uh, the what we can say the data regarding the input that depend on the that uh, output will depend on that. So it's a result of program we can say or goal of the uh, algorithm we can say finiteness. In every case, algorithm. terminates after a finite number of steps in every case algorithm terminates after a finite number of steps here finite number of steps is very important what is a finite number of steps means what after execution of some uh, some lines of code number of lines of code it must give the solution or goal that is nothing but the finite number of steps suppose that algorithm or that uh, procedure is not end at particular level particular uh, number of sequence uh, number of lines executed okay after that it will not stop then it it is not a finite number of steps so it should a finite number of steps and it terminate after the finite number of steps so that's a uh, finiteness the finiteness is nothing but the the steps should be clear and unambiguous means it not it should not be repeated again and again so it should be clear that is understandable understandable by third user effectiveness is a characteristic one of the characteristics of algorithm and algorithm should be written in simple instructions it should be easily uh, what we can say covered to computer program the uh, whatever the algorithm is there it is uh, understandable or that instruction lines are understandable for the user algorithm problem solving what's so what's the problem regarding that problem is a uh, define as situation or condition which needs to solve to achieve goals for particular problem we are going we are uh, we are uh, apply the algorithm we are uh, we uh, we are going to design algorithm to solve that problem and to achieve a goal so they are having some steps for that first define the problem we should define that problem problem statement second data gathering according to that uh, problem statement the second step is data gathering so it gather the data according to their problem statement third decide effective solution fourth implement and evaluate the solution and fifth review the result so it's a data gathering that depend on the problem statement third step is decide effective solution so for solving a particular problem they are having n number of solutions so from this we need to decide which one is effective which is a time uh, so again that ha having time and space complexity inside that so depend on that it will divide the next fourth implement and evaluate the solution so implementation or we can say the code and evaluation for that problem statement and the last review the result so it nothing but the achieve the goal yes now here we can see one example for algorithm and what is a problem statement design an algorithm to add two numbers and display the result 
we are going to add two numbers and display the result so what how how we are going to write the algorithm so it's a step by step procedure so here uh, we have to mention step 1 2 3 4 continue step 1 always start step 2 declare three integer a b and c uh, here we can use any variables a and b for two integer numbers and c i have used here for storing the addition of the two numbers step 3 define values of a and b user will going to provide or in the code itself we can declare the value step 4 add values of a and b step 5 store uh, output of step 4 to c means the step 4 output that store in c in step 5th so it's a c step 6 print c and the last stop so using c variable it will going to print the addition of two numbers so this this uh, that's algorithm for addition of two numbers now again that algorithm having design tools first is a pseudo code and the second is a flowchart flowchart is nothing but the diagrammatical representation or graphical representation we can say and pseudo code is that is nothing but the to implement any algorithm that is in the form of uh, that pseudo code that written in a plain text plain text no, we can say the plain english language so here first we will see the flowchart so these are the flowchart representation to design any algorithm diagrammatically here having the symbol that is a start and stop this is a process input output parallelogram for that then arrow that is nothing but the flow or control flow this uh, diamond that, that is a decision and the last it's a connector so here find area of a circle so the first one is input output so start and stop we have to uh, here mention the symbol second parallelogram to take input and output so enter the values of r for area uh, to calculate the area of circle we need a radius so here we uh, we will take the value from that user so enter the value of r that's the input so after that process calculate the square of radius what's the formula for that calculate area a is equal to 3.14 or we can say the pi into r square so here uh, i have uh, we have uh, done here the square and after that the formula here we can apply uh, directly this formula and at the last end and that arrow indicate it the flow means from top to down okay now the second design tool is the pseudo code so here we have added uh, we have uh, we have added two numbers so it's a pseudo code for that begin that is nothing but the start number a b and add output input number one input a then output input number two input b add a plus b output add and end so here it is a simple english language that is understandable it, it's a not any uh, what we can say it's not any uh, language code it's a simple english language that is understandable by user while reading that is understandable by any user so it's a pseudo code for algorithm okay thank you everyone